some of my fishing spots are pretty easy to get to. I can put in close to where I park, I can see the river conditions, and I don't even have to paddle that far to get on my spot. <laughs> Today's location is a full-blown commitment. That's part for the course where I'm where I had to put in here today. Um, accidents like that happen. My fish weren't too crazy about losing all their water, but uh, thankfully I was close enough to the river and enough people leave their garbage laying around that there was a cup um, that had drifted up by shore and I filled it with water and my, my bait fish are okay now is where I'm going. So you might you might be wondering why I would go to all the trouble to put in someplace so difficult to put in. Well, here's the situation. Our main river right now is busting at the seams. It came up faster than all the tributaries because it took all the runoff from up north when we got a bunch of snow here a, a, a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Um, it started coming up and then we got a bunch of rain over the last week. And so everything is bumped up on top of that um, because of the rain, the runoff from the rain. So it's pretty common knowledge that when the rivers are high, tributary mouths can be a good place to fish because fish like to escape the current. Um, and that's, that's true. But not all of them behave the same when we get rain. We have some that will, that will come up sort of in line with the main river. We have some that won't come up in line with the main river if it's, if it's coming from upstream, but if it's local runoff, then they will. And then we have, and they don't all rise and fall at the same rate. We have some that will that will come up and then stay up and gradually get lower over the course of a week or two and then we have some that are more like drainage ditches that will get real high real fast and over the course of the next 24 36 hours be back down to normal so today what i'm doing is i'm not just picking any tributary to fish today i'm picking a tributary that doesn't have as much flow as the other tributaries. So the situation I have is I have the main river flowing like crazy, high water, and I have this tributary that I'm in that is up, but it's not up too much. And because of the difference in flow, it's actually getting backed up at the tributary mouth. So I'm not sitting at a tributary that's still dumping into the main river. I'm sitting in a big pool of water that has very moderate flow. And that's good for a couple reasons. Number one, it has relatively slack water compared to the main river and compared to the other tributaries. So this seems like it should be a better spot. And number two, and this is a big deal, this is gonna be much easier to fish. The other tributaries, and I've checked them out, the other tributaries are flowing hard enough that they have a bunch of crap in them. So it's that situation where you got your lines out, you're constantly picking up debris, and you gotta reel it in every so often, hard to monitor what's going on, I don't have that kind of flow here, so this is going to be much easier to fish just in general. So all things considered, this is the spot. So I'm in my first position here, um, just get my lines out, I'm going to kick back, <laughs> finally get a chance to drink my coffee for the morning and uh, see how things pan out. I'll check back. That's an all right way to start the day right there. All right way to start the day.
Simmer now. Simmer. That's a good start right there. That's a good start. We're gonna tend to this fish. We could start right there though. He's got some problems. Uh, uh, well, this is the second fish. It's a pretty good one. And of course, I thought the camera was rolling. Camera not rolling. Nice looking fish there though. Second fish of the day. This one took probably another, another maybe, maybe a little more than 10. I was considering repositioning and I may still, but I don't think I'm gonna move from the spot just yet because I'm, I'm having some, catching some fairly solid fish here. And he's gone. Good stuff. Oh, that's one. That's one. Haven't seen him yet. <laughs> he's not a bad one. Very nice fish. Look at that fish. He's a dandy. Fat. Oh. That's a healthy fish right there. Real nice. All right. <laughs> I had serious pandemonium for a second. I had the camera off to deal with the other fish, and then I got bit on another rod. So now I got two very solid fish in the boat. Look at that. Those are both good ones. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, we're gonna get these, get these fish taken care of here. Uh, all right, so there's the first one. Look at that big belly. Look at that. I'm gonna let him go. Let him go. I'm gonna give him a minute here because he got stuck in the kayak for a minute while, while I got hit with that other fish. There we go. Into the depths, off he goes. You're next. You're next. This one. Oh, he was already ready already. The pandemonium. That fish knocked my shoe off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one. That's one right there. Oh, man. I'm off. I'm off. He... Good Lord. <laughs> My goodness. This one still doesn't want to come up. Still doesn't want to come up. There we go. You're on the wrong 
wrong side, bud. Oh, I'm gonna be all tangled here. Man, he... <laughs> he has a fight in him. Yep, tangled lines everywhere. Denny has a really... an unelegant... <laughs> Man, he's got a big old noggin on him. This fish has... dominated me. Oh man, that was... You ever watch any of my videos and think, how the heck does that guy ever land a fish ever? Because I manage to think that at least once a day, just about every time I go fishing. That was really something. So he pulled me loose. Oh, he pulled me loose and... Man, look, he's got a... kind of a pretty fish. He's got some cool markings on him. Look at that. He got a big old noggin, that's for sure. And a whole truckload of fight. He was angry. Man, he's got... I like those splotches. I like the fish that have the pretty splotches on him. That's pretty cool. Alright. You ready, bud? You. Yeah. Back you go. I had sweat rolled in my eye while I was doing that. I was trying to do it looking at one eye. Everything was tangled. Man, it changed my channel name to the Haphazard Kayak Angler. Good fish though, gotta like that. Let me show you what I'm using today. So I'm running a pretty long leader. Uh, and then because the water's so murky and muddy, uh, I wanna make sure there's plenty of uh, commotion under the water. So I've got the rattle, the Whisker Seeker rattle, uh, and the chartreuse. Chartreuse and black are sort of my go-to colors in, in the dark water, chocolate milk water. And then uh, the rattle float, right? So this is essentially just a Carolina rig, but uh, this float with the extra beads on it makes a little more noise. And then uh, the rattle for additional noise. And that keeps it up off the bottom, right? There's my weight. This keeps it up off the bottom a bit. Uh, make it a little easier to find and uh, I ran a little longer leader today so that it had uh, because I don't have Because I'm where because of where I'm at and the the flow's not too bad. I'm only using two ounces to keep it down uh, It gives it a little a little uh, a little more movement uh, to trying to attract some attention. So that was what was working today Pretty simple rig very very effective so it turns out that uh Having a train wreck right over the top of your spot may have an adverse effect on the fishing. Maybe. Maybe. I, I can't say for sure. What a good day, though. It feels good to finally be back out on the river again. It's been a while now. And, you know, I could be somewhere where I'm fighting the current and I'm struggling for position and I'm dealing with all sorts of debris on my lines. And that's not the case at all. Uh, very relaxing paddling around here where I'm at. I didn't have to deal with any debris, and uh, clearly I had some good fishing. So remember, when the main river's swollen and you're looking for tributaries, uh, be thoughtful about which one you want to pick, right? They're not all the same. Some of them are going to be high and running hard, just like the main river is, and some of them are not. And the ones that aren't are going to give you much more favorable conditions to just fish in. And like today, if you're lucky, um, some really good fishing on top of it. So thanks a lot for coming along today. Until next time, paddle up. Let's go looking for a fight.